हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टॉक अबाउट लिस्ट ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स टू बी रिक्वायर्ड आफ्टर रिसीविंग इनविटेशंस टू अप्लाई मींस आईटीए फॉर द कैनेडा एक्सप्रेस एंट्री प्रोग्राम आई विल स्टार्ट माय डिस्कशन विथ सैम्पल डॉक्यूमेंट चेकलिस्ट फॉर ए फैमिली ऑफ थ्री पीपल for fsw pnp candidate then i will discuss about proof of upfront medical exam and how to find list of hospitals and panel physicians for medical exam approved by rcc of your country after that i will talk about where to upload IELTS result and ECA evaluation details. Then I will tell you about the documents to be uploaded in the education section or tab. After that, I will discuss about PCC means Police Clearance Certificate, and I will tell you that how to get PCC from India. as well as from other country after that i will talk about the documents to be uploaded in the employment record section and the documents to be attached as a part of proof of funds moreover i will also talk about digital photo specifications and legal name change documents after that i will discuss about the things to be included in the letter of explanation means loe after that we will discuss about the documents such as nomination certificate licensure details rejection letter of your previous files and IMM 5406 and IMM 5669 forms and where you should upload these documents in your file after that i will tell you about how to compress these documents and list of online pdf file compressor websites and in the last section of this video i will discuss about what happens if you decline the ita so okay friends so before i start i am tushar from canada pr info i do create lots of videos about canada immigration and canadian lifestyle so please do subscribe my youtube channel to receive the latest updates and videos and click on the bell icon so you do not miss a single video in your journey to become a canada pr okay friends so now let's begin so after receiving ita once you log in in your express entry profile you will have two options or two buttons one is continue application and decline invitation obviously we are not going to select that so as you click on the continue application after that you will have 60 days to submit your permanent residency application electronically with all supporting documents and once you click on the continue application button you will be asked to fill some additional information few information will be fetch from your express entry profile automatically that you submitted and some additional information will be asked such as your address history of your last 10 years your personal history and travel history for each member listed in the application so ensure that this all details are correct 
and based on this details your customized document checklist will be generated and in this case we are going to see the sample document checklist for a people of 3 who is a part of FSW program and PNP applicant. So first thing which is you have to provide which is a marriage certificate and here is the instructions are given. If you click on the question mark button then you will be exactly get to know this what documents are needed to be uploaded in this section. So these are the various sections that will be presented and on the right hand side there is an option to upload the files and you remember that for each section the limit is 4 MB means you cannot upload the files which is having the size greater than 4 MB okay so these are the documents for the principal applicant marriage certificate passport or travel documents proof of upfront medical exam education details police certificate employment records you see the multiple tab because in this case the applicant has shown the two different jobs fine still there is a checklist is there but it is not shown in the screenshot which is for proof of funds and digital photo fine after that there is a one another information which is a client information it means that LOE letter of explanation as you can see on this side there is a, a button is there which is upload file so as you click over here you will be able to upload all the details okay and similarly if this is for the spouse almost the same details but you can see that this uh, passport details are uploaded over here so this tab is somewhat different it says that update information means you want to change any information which you have uploaded so you are able to do any changes in your files until you do the final submission and these are the files which are not uploaded anything fine so these are the checklist this is the checklist for the spouse and but now let's learn that in detail which are the documents that you have to upload and how to arrange these documents in detail fine so to start with let's open the laptop and in that let's try to understand how you will upload this documents so for that I have created one folder in my computer and in that I have created the three folder one is for my principal applicant one is for the spouse and one is for the kid in the principal applicant folder I will create the another folders for the each section or each tab of my document checklist fine so the first checklist document is marriage certificate fine so I will create a folder with that name okay so the second document checklist name is passport or travel document so similarly I will create that and I will create same for the spouse as well as for the kid okay so now let's go back to this flight and uh, slides and let's see that the first document that is a marriage certificate that you should upload but in some cases or for a few people the document may not be in the English or French language it may be in the regional language so in that case what you should do you should notarize that document from the notary public and you have to convert this document from your regional language to the English language and you have to also attach the translator affidavit who do the translation of your certificate okay so actually you are you need to upload three documents original marriage certificate notarized document and translator affidavits so now what you should do in this case fine you have only one section or one tab so how you will arrange this document so let's click on this folder and let's see what I have done so first of all I have created the table of content for this tab this is my style you can follow your own methods too fine so 
so first of all i created this doc file and in this doc file i write the all the details which i want to want to upload in this section so this is a table of content for the marriage certificate it means that i will write the i will upload the marriage certificate and i will upload the translated document and i will also upload the translator affidavit okay and let's assume that these are the documents let's say this is your marriage certificate your notarized marriage certificate and your translator affidavit so what i will do i will club all these things i will club all these things and i will create a final file this is my final file which contains four pages so always my first page is the index in which i write everything about that section so for this section it is for the marriage certificate so i will write everything about marriage section over here so when immigration officer reads your reads this section he or she will get to know exactly what documents are uploaded in this section okay so this is your index then you can see this is your marriage certificate on page number 2 notarized on 3 and your translator affidavit on 4 fine and this is my final document for the marriage certificate and make sure that the size of this final file should not be greater than 4 mb right now it is 174 kb so it is okay okay so let's move to the next document the next document is passport or travel document so here you should scan the pages of your current valid passports which shows that your birth date your country of origin and you should scan all the pages with stamps visas or any markings in addition to that you are also required to upload the birth certificate in under express entry program birth certificate is required only for the children however if you are a pnp applicant in which you already submitted your birth certificate as a part of nomination process then it is also recommended that you should also attach the birth certificate now the question is where you will attach the birth certificate so you can attach this birth certificate either in this section means passport or travel document section or tab or if you do not have the space at this point later on you can attach in the letter of explanation section okay so this is about the birth certificate now the next thing is proof of upfront medical exam fine so here you have to do the medical ex test for your express entry application and you will have to upload this form imm 1017b upfront medical report form so when you go to your doctor and once you complete your medical test your medical exam your doctor will give you this form in which your EMI uh, sorry UMI unique medical identifier number is written so you have to upload this but in many cases you may not be given this IMM form you will be given only information sheet with UMI number or acknowledgement form will be given to you so your doctor will upload this document on behalf of you and you have to upload the acknowledgement receipt that you have completed the medical exam okay and the validity of the medical exam is 12 months and the question is can you do upfront medical if you have not received the ita so the answer is yes it is possible you can do it upfront okay but my suggestion is do medical at the end because your copr means confirmation of permanent residence and prv visa means permanent resident visa validity will be granted 
exactly one year from the date of your medical completion date it means that if you do early then your copr and prv expiry date will be that much early so it is recommended that you should do your medical at the end of this stage okay so now how to find the list of hospitals for the medical exam approved by the IRCC of your country and how to find the approved panel physicians so it is very simple guys just go to the IRCC website or in the Google you can type this find a panel physician and once you type this this link will be opened and here you have to select your country or territory so for example I have selected over here India and so for India all the panel physicians are available in this countries are ordered by the city fine so you can see that the first this is Ahmedabad this are the panel physicians with address its appointment details phone numbers so what you should do is you have to select any one of the panel physicians and you have to call them on the registered number and you have to take the appointment uh, so they will tell you that what documents that you have to bring when you come for the medical exam and once you complete the medical exam they will give you the such acknowledgement form or the medical report form so that you have to upload as a evidence of your proof of upfront medical exam okay so you can select the pen any panel physicians which is nearest to your city fine so if you are not from india so let's say what you should do again you have to go to this tab and let's say you are from bangladesh and you select this option and click on go and it will list the all the panel physicians who are in this country so you can see the pan list of panel physicians who are in this city dhaka okay so if you are from any other country just select your country find out the authorized panel physician by the ircc and only and then you have to go for the medical exam okay so i hope this is clear how to find the list of med hospitals and the for the medical exams which is approved by the ircc okay now let's move to the next document or next section which is education so in the education section you have to upload your degree certificates find your bachelor degree master degree certificates but it is highly recommended that you have to upload your eca report because ideally when you upload your any bachelor or master certificate fine which is not valid until and unless you have the eca report okay so in this case i recommend that you should start this section with eca report then ilcs result then your master degree certificate then master degree transcript or the mark sheets then your bachelor degree certificate and bachelor degree transcript or the mark sheet okay so there are two advantages here it is not uh, essential that you should upload this because you have mentioned your eca report details in the express entry profile but by mistake if you have done any provided any wrong information then the immigration officer can check the details from your eca report okay same is applicable also for the als result okay so now let's learn the one more example how you will have to arrange this documents in your laptop okay so let's open the section for the education tab okay so as i told you earlier this is my pattern i will create the table of content fine so in the table of content what i will do is the first document is my vas report second is als result then master degree certificate then i have included my master degree transcript then this is bachelor degree certificate then bachelor degree transcript and then i have clubbed it with my documents so let's say this is the final pdf where my first page is the index of this section and after that i have the 
all the documents as mentioned with page number so if immigration officer wants to check your master degree certificate he or she directly can jump to the page number 5 okay as well as he or she get to know about the all the documents that you have uploaded in the doc education section okay so this is a complete pdf for your document section so you can see that same documents as we have listed in our index okay so i hope it is clear now how to arrange this documents in your laptop and that would be easy for you to upload in the each section okay so now let's go back to the our main ppt and let's move to the next part which is a police clearance certificate means pcc and which is required for you as well as your all the family members who are 18 years or older and you must provide the police certificate for every country region or territory other than canada if you have spent six months or more in a row for the period of last 10 years okay in that case you require the multiple pcc but if you have not stayed in any other country for the period of six months then you will have to go for only one pcc of your country okay but if you were on the work permit in let's say dubai oman qatar and if you are indian foreign nationals then you may require the multiple pccs fine so when you issue the pcc for the current country of your resident it should not be issued before the six months before you submit your e appear means electronic application for permanent residency and for the countries which you are not residing at this time the police certificate must have been issued after the last time you stayed in that country for six months or row it means that let's say you were in india at this point and when you stayed eight months in dubai for work so once you completed your stay after that the pcc would be issued okay so now let's see that if you want to get pcc then how to get it let's say if you are from india then if you want to get the pcc i recommend that you should use this passport seva website fine however you can do it from the district police station but i would not recommend that because the district police station may not be aware with the format and in that case your file can be rejected so i personally do not recommend that you should go for the district police station for the pcc so you can use this website and to get the pcc in from this website you have to click over here police clearance certificate and they will give you the detailed instruction for the how to get the police clearance certificate so you have to register your details over here and you have to make the payment and you have to book the appointment and once you book the appointment you will have to visit the passport seva kendra which is nearest to your city fine and once you complete the for uh, the all the formalities over there then you will have to go for the inquiry for your nearest police station and after that once then your local police stations will give you the clearance then you will be notified that your pcc is ready and you will get the message or email on your phone or in on your registered email id and then you can again go back to this passport seva and you can collect your pcc so this is for the india if you are from any other country or if you want to get multiple pccs then you can either you can visit the embassy indian embassy or any other embassy of the country fine and if you want are from other country let's say you are from bangladesh okay and in that case let's say what is the requirement let's click on this so this is the official website 
to get the police certificate and you can visit that so in bangladesh the requirement is you should if you are in the bangladesh you should leave then you should go to the, your local police station and if you are outside the bangladesh then you should visit the bangladesh embassy okay so similarly you can find the requirement of the police certificate depending on your country so in pakistan there is a some different requirement fine so similarly it depends on your country so i hope you can understand and you can refer this website to find the to how to get the police certificate okay so let's move to the next documents the next document which is the most important of the which is employment records so here it is said that you have to upload your work experience letter means reference letter so this is the only one document they require but i recommend that in addition to this you should go for the salary slip or pay stubs bank statement of your salary account income tax details if you have paid the income tax and your provident fund statements fine so if you attach this documents in addition to your reference letter which will give the confidence to the immigration officer that you have worked for this company fine and this will boost up your processing time and you will not be uh, your file will not be delayed fine and for the current employment you have to make sure that you should provide the updated letters it should not be older than the 6 months and now you know that how to arrange this document fine no need to go for the demo you first you have to create a index in which you write this all the details and then you one by one you write upload the all the documents and you merge it in one pdf file but make sure that the file size should not be more than 4 mb 4 megabyte okay so now the next section is or before that if you don't know or if you have received the ita and if you want to reconfirm that how to write your experience letter whether the experience letter that you have written which is correct or not or if you want to double check that you can watch this video it is available on my youtube channel and if you don't have or if you are not able to obtain the work experience letter from your employer then what is the solution for that you can watch this video too if you are interested okay now let's move to the next one which is a proof of funds so in this section the first and essential document that is your balance certificate it means bank letter which mentions your all the details of your amount okay but in addition to that what i request what i suggest that you should attach the fixed deposits or recurring deposit certificates if you have you must have to attach your pa- past 6 month bank statements then first page of your passbook of your bank account and your consent or authorization letter of your spouse if your money is in joint account with your spouse or if your money is in only spouse account okay if you have taken the gift of money from someone else then you must have to attest the gift deed and in addition to settlement fund sometimes the settlement plan can be requested so to download the settlement plan you can visit this official website of living in canada and you can click on the start and it will ask you some basic questions and you will have to answer that and at the end you will be able to generate or email this settlement plan and that plan you have to attach as a proof of f- fund or in this section okay so these are the documents that you can attach in the proof of fund section i hope this is clear let's move to the next one or before moving to the next one if you have any query regarding the proof of fund regarding the balance certificate format what you should write in the balance certificate how much money that you need whether i can include the money which is in my joint account with my spouse or not or how to write the consent letter how to write the gift deed which type of funds to be accepted or rejected 
you can watch this video which is available on my youtube channel okay now the next thing is you will have to upload a digital photo of you as well as for your family members fine so you have to go to the photographer and whenever you go to the photographer i highly recommend that you go with this specification because sometimes the photographer may not be aware with the exact specification so you should tell them these are the specification that i want okay so the in this case the your requirement is the width of your photograph is 35 and the height would be 45 so you should clearly tell the photographer that i want a photograph of 35 by 45 mm and one additional requirement is the minimum face from head from chin to crown must be between 31 to 36 mm and your file should be in the jpeg or jpeg 20 uh, 2000 format and photo size should not be less than 60 kb fine so once your photographer will capture your photo you will have to take this photo in your pen drive and when you submit this document you will have to upload the photo in the respective section okay so but make sure that you uh, do not forget to carry this dimension fine there is a lot of confusion about 35 by 45 mm and 50 by 70 fine 50 by 70 size that you will have to capture the photo at the time of passport submission but at this time you require 35 by 45 mm okay so do not do the mistake in that then the next thing is if you have mentioned anywhere in your express entry profile okay, you have been known by the different names fine in that case this additional tab would be generated in your checklist and this is known as legal name change doc means in case of female let's say before marriage and after marriage name could be different so maybe uh, the educational documents uh, are from uh, a name would be different and after the education on the employment documents or some other documents would be name would be different fine in your case it could be possible let's say your in your uh, license or in passport your name would be somewhat different where your in your company your name would be somewhat different so in that case what you can do to be on the safe side i recommend that you should tell the all, all the name in your express entry profile and you have to make one simple notarized affidavit of one and same person and in that you can state that this are the all the names which i have been used or i have been using in this particular platforms okay and so you can do it from the lawyer so it's a, uh it's very cheap so you can go to the lawyer and you can do the phone and same person affidavit okay now the next thing is the letter of explanation this is one of the most important part of your documents so first thing is if you are a pnp applicant then you must have to upload this schedule 4 economic classes provincial nominee form so just download this form upload it sign it and you have to upload in the loe letter of explanation and up and explain about this you can also upload the nomination certificate in the letter of explanation fine however it is not mandatory but to be on the safe side you can upload it fine as well as you should upload the licensure details if your occupation is regulated and for that if you have uh, obtained any license to work in canada then you must have to attach that details okay if your file is rejected earlier you have applied in express entry or any other provincial nominee programs you must have to declare each and everything and for each and every uh, rejection you should upload your rejection letters that is in the letter of explanation fine in addition to that you should disclose your additional family information and background information and that should be disclosed using this two forms fine and if your any of the answers that you have given yes in the statutory questions in the uh, and that's in this case you have to add the detailed reason 
of this why you are uh, why you convicted the crime why you are not able to uh, why you are deported from the port of the entry so there are several questions so if any of the questions that you have said yes in this form then you have to attach the detailed reason for that and attach the maximum documents that you can so that will help you fine so it is not essential but it can be requested in adr adr means additional document request so many things that i have suggested you might be feeling that these are the additional things but few things can be requested ted in the form of adr so it is better to avoid the adr to to delay your processing okay so these are the documents now let's move to the next one if you have any relative fine that you have claimed the points for that you have to uh, uh, give the documents for them fine in this sample document checklist that uh, in this case the relative is not there so no tab is generated but if you have a relative and you have claimed the points for that then this is the documents that you have to provide so first document is you have to provide the status of that relative whether they are pr or citizen if they are on any temporary visa such as visitor study permit or work permit then you cannot claim the points for that fine in addition to that you should provide the rental agreements utility bills bank statements or any other details which proves that relationship with the relatives fine and that is what you claimed in your profile the next thing is how to compress the documents fine so as you know now the limit is 4 mb for each section so one thing you can do is if your file exceeds then 4 mb you can scan all the documents like your bachelor certificate your master certificate or any other documents which you scanned earlier that you can rescan again with lower dpi you can reduce up to 100 150 dpi or 200 dpi so as you reduce the dpi the size would be reduced but ensure that your files are readable fine they don't want hd files their immigration officer wants readable files so you can attach the documents which are readable with less dpi also if you have scanned the documents and if you want to compress it online then these are the some websites where you can use in free and you can upload your all the documents over here and they will provide you the compressed version of your file so which can be uploaded in your express entry submission okay now let's move to the next section once you upload all the documents then there is option for the fee payment fine and once you make the payment and submit the all the documents then you it uh, it is called the e apia means electronically application for your permanent residency so this is the sample checklist this is for the last year in last year uh, i paid around 2400 dollars but in this year the fees would be uh, 2875 dollar for a person of two with one kid okay so it so this checklist would be also created and there is a option is there you you may not be if you do not want to pay rprf fee then it can be also you cannot if you do not want to pay that fee you can waive it at this time but as your file will move progress and after some time you will get the adr request okay you will have to pay right of permanent resident fee and for that let's say you once you get the request and after that you pay it and you submit the documents so that will take your uh, approx 1 week to 10 days so that much so that will delay your processing okay so to do avoid that i recommend that you should go for the uh, one time payment whatever the fees that you have been displayed over here that you have to pay it okay and after that once you make the payment you will get aor this is the most important term acknowledgement of receipt and that you will get it within 24 hours in your ircc account okay so i would say congratulations you have learned all the things that you required after the ita 
so now the after that once you submit all these things your waiting time will be started and waiting time is for what it is for the golden email we call it as golden email because it is a passport request email and you will have to submit your passport for the visa of canada pr okay so wish you all the best but before that i would say that if you are not able to uh verify your all the documents and if you need a second review of your all the documents and your entire file before the final submission to the ircc after getting the ita then you write your email id in the comment section of this video you will be contacted via email okay and what happens if you decline the ita so if you decline the ita and if you are not able to arrange all the documents in the 60 days then you will be back in the pool means in the express entry pool and though you decline the ita you will be eligible to be invited again provided that you meet the crs cutoff for the upcoming draws okay so i hope that i have covered all the information regarding the list of documents to be required after ita for the canada express entry program so if you have any queries regarding the documents after ita please write in the comment section of this video so i can answer it and please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel to receive the latest updates and videos and click on the like button if you like the video and wish you all the best for your ppr thank you very much